Well, we will begin tonight with our winter preview series, some basketball to get to, starting with the Cocalico boys team, 12 and 11 overall record and second place in section two a year ago, but are moving to section three this season, which should be a fresh challenge for these guys. New Love and Sports Chad Landers tells us what else is in store for the Eagles this winter. So everything is different. Uh, moving down to section three doesn't mean any games are going to be easy because it's tough. Um, having Mannheim Central, LS, those kind of schools there, they're very tough. Central could be one of the best schools in the league this year. Most of the time when people find out that we moved down to section three, they say that like we'll clean house and stuff, but that's not the case. Like there's some good teams in section three and even in our crossover games in section four. So I'm ready to we're ready to battle everyone. We're looking forward just to make it a run, trying to make a make an impact on the Section 3, because we're the new team in Section 3, so we want to surprise everybody and maybe take it. What a debut that would be. It's new territory for the Cocalico Eagles. Gone are the rivalry games with Ephrata and Lebanon in Section 2. Now they have to battle with the likes of Mannheim Central, Lampeter Strasburg, and Donegal, in addition to moving from Quad A down to AAA. Leading the way for the Eagles this year, seniors John Waskowitz and Austin Knoll, plus long-range sharpshooter Tucker Lesko. Calgary basketball always got a good shooting, you know, we're, but we, we generate our D, from our defense, we get our offense. So we play tough D. Um, like I said, we're not the biggest team in the world, so we're not going to get, you know, all those, you know, crazy dunks that you see, but we're going to be scrappy on defense. And we just feel here, you know, winning breeds winning. I don't think our identity changes from year to year. I think we try to focus on defensive uh, fundamentals first. Um, and then on the offensive end, just valuing the basketball and, you know, making good decisions. I think we're pretty athletic as a team. We're pretty fast and quick. So, like I said earlier, we got to be scrappy on defense. And uh, that will translate to offense and we can uh, take care of business. We're going to hustle. We're going to work hard. What Cocalico lacks in size this year, they hope to make up for with overall effort and hustle, and they'll have to get it together quickly. The season starts next Wednesday in the backyard brawl against Ephrata, which you can see live right here on BRC 11 as part of our season opening basketball doubleheader. Reporting from Cocalico, Chad Landers, News 11 Sports. 